Outlook brings to you excerpts from its latest issue titled Omnipresent Omniscient. The issue looks at Modi's personality, his cult and his brand in the light of the recent consecration of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya, which also kickstarts the election campaign. Modi is an avatar, a statesman, a saint. Beyond Hindutva, there is now the Moditva project. From the overlap, a section that looks at news and emerging events from Outlook's special lens. A non-ideological journey by Abhik Bhattacharya from Outlook. Nitish Kumar's act of shifting ideological positions evokes a very complex question. Does ideology matter at all in contemporary politics? In the run-up to the 2015 Bihar Assembly elections, when Nitish Kumar was fighting without his traditional ally, Bharatiya Janata Party, for the first time, Prime Minister Narendra Modi commented that the party made a big sacrifice by making Kumar the CM in 2005. Soon after, senior JDU leaders jumped in to defend their leader and said it was Kumar's popularity that forced the BJP to elect him. Modi's jibe at Kumar did not come out of nowhere. He was the only NDA member who in 2013 strongly opposed Modi's projection as the prime ministerial candidate. He also made this the ground to end 17 years of their political relationship and pave the way for a new coalition, the Mahagathbandhan. But the bitterness did not last long. In 2017, Kumar quit the Mahagathbandhan and rejoined the NDA. However, in 2022, he again quit the NDA and rejoined the Mahagathbandhan, only to be back in 2024 just before the Lok Sabha elections, probably sensing which way the political winds are blowing. Some may question his flip-flops, but one thing is evident, he will always have his way. As Kumar is getting ready for his second Lok Sabha innings under the leadership of Modi, sources from India Bloc told Outlook that the two parties made a deal before he officially announced his return to the NDA. The first component of the deal was conferring the Bharat Ratna posthumously to Karpuri Thakur, the former Chief Minister of Bihar, who hails from the extremely backward class Nai community. It was done to consolidate Kumar's Love Kush vote bank, the alliance of the agricultural Kurmi and the Koiri castes that has remained his support base. The second was related to the much-awaited special package for the state. Though the political deal is not public, the congratulatory tweets of PM Modi addressing Kumar and the Bihar CM's response showing gratitude pushes one to read between the lines. Kumar's act of shifting ideological positions from being a Modi beta to his grateful soldier evokes a very complex question. Does ideology matter at all in today's politics? To understand this, one needs to revisit the time when Kumar and Lalu Prasad Yadav used to be close friends and were the proponents of social justice politics. For this and more, read the latest issue of Outlook.